Some time ago, I created a short video about astronauts getting taller in outer space. Shortly afterward, a friend commented on my video, claiming that the moon landing photos I displayed were fake and that the entire moon landing was a hoax. This made me question whether the United States moon landing was indeed a lie. As I sought definitive answers, I found myself becoming increasingly confused. Can humans really travel to outer space? My initial thoughts were as follows. Humans live on Earth, a planet we know to be in constant motion due to rotation and revolution. Rotation is when Earth spins on its axis, while revolution is its movement around the Sun. So, the Earth, which appears motionless to us, is, in fact, moving, though we don't feel it. I then sought to understand the speed of Earth's movement. I discovered that the rotational speed of the Earth is 1,670 km per hour, while its orbital speed is 107,000 km per hour. These speeds are truly unimaginable. With this in mind, I imagined humans venturing into space using spacecraft, meaning they would leave the rapidly moving Earth behind. But how could they return to Earth? How could a spacecraft catch up to a planet moving so rapidly? Is a spacecraft even fast enough for that? If Earth is moving, it's evident that the Moon is also moving. This led me to question how fast the Moon moves. Its rotational and orbital speeds are the same, approximately 3,682 km per hour. From my layman's perspective, it seemed nearly impossible to reach a Moon moving at such a speed. Are their spacecraft faster than both the Moon and Earth? How does a spacecraft catch up to a swiftly moving moon? The complexities of space travel and celestial motion left me with a plethora of unanswered questions, and the more I delved into the topic, the more fascinated and perplexed I became. It made me realize the vastness and intricacies of the universe, prompting a desire to learn more about space exploration and the incredible feats achieved by scientists and astronauts in their pursuit of understanding the cosmos.